Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week we're diving into the attention restoration theory, a fascinating concept developed by Rachel and Stephen Kaplan in the 1980s. The theory explains how spending time in natural environments can help restore our ability to focus, combat mental fatigue and improve our overall well-being. Let's break it down step by step. What is the attention restoration theory? The attention restoration theory, also known as ART, suggests that modern life places a heavy demand on our directed attention. This focused attention is limited, meaning it can become fatigued over time, leading to symptoms such as irritability, reduced productivity and difficulty concentrating. By understanding Kaplan and Kaplan's four states of attention, directed attention, effortless attention, prolonged attention and restored attention, we can gather an understanding of how attention operates and how it can be restored. First up is directed attention. This is attention that requires effort, conscious focus effort on a task or goal. It involves filtering out distractions and keeping concentration, often in environments with competing stimuli. However, prolonged use of directed attention leads to mental fatigue as it depletes cognitive resources needed for sustained focus. Next, we have effortless attention, also known as genuine attention. Effortless attention occurs when attention flows naturally without the need for conscious effort. It happens in environments that captivate and engage us, such as natural settings. In these moments, attention isn't strained, reducing cognitive load and helping to restore mental resources. Then there's prolonged attention, essentially fatigue due to overuse. Prolonged attention is the extended use of directed attention without adequate breaks or restorative experiences. Over time, this leads to mental fatigue, reducing our ability to focus and increasing our distractibility. Finally, there's restored attention, the replenishment of mental resources. This occurs after periods of effortless attention. Spending time in restorative environments, such as nature, replenishes cognitive resources and improves focus. This allows us to recover from the mental fatigue caused by prolonged directed attention. Before we look at how it can be restored, we must understand what happens to our brain to cause the fatigue. To answer this, let's take a quick look at the role of the neural inhibitory system. To focus on a task, our brains rely on the neural inhibitory system. This system allows us to block out competing stimuli. For example, background noises, visual distractions, or unrelated thoughts. This helps us direct our attention to one thing at a time. The more we use our directed attention, the harder our neural inhibitory system works. Over time, this system becomes fatigue, making it difficult to filter out distractions. This is why after a long day of focusing, you might feel mentally exhausted, easily distracted, or unable to concentrate on even simple tasks. Now let's explore the four essential elements that foster restoration. According to the cat plans, for an environment to be truly restorative, it needs to have four key components. First up, being away. This refers to a sense of escape, whether physical or mental, from your everyday demands and distractions. Natural environments like forests, parks, or e even indoor green spaces allow you to feel removed from the pressures of daily life. Next, there's soft fascination. Nature has what's known as soft fascination. Unlike the overstimulation of urban environments or screens, nature cap Shows our attention gently and effortlessly. Think of watching leaves rustle in the wind, listening to birds chirp, or observing water flowing in a stream. These experiences hold our attention without draining it and give our directed attention a chance to recover. Then we have extent. A restorative environment should have a sense of extent, meaning it feels vast and immersive. Whether it's a large green park, a wooded trail, or even a well-designed indoor garden, the environment needs to feel rich enough to explore both physically and mentally. Finally, there's compatibility. The environment must match your purpose and goals. If you're looking for relaxation, quiet nature walks or sitting by a garden will support your need for calmness. Compatibility ensures you're able to engage with the environment in a way that feels natural and effortless. Now let us connect the two together and understand how nature restores the brain. Natural environments help restore the neural inhibitory system by providing soft fascination, a key concept in the attention restoration theory. And that soft fascination, as we just discussed, refers to that gentle and effortless way nature captures our attention, unlike urban settings, um, which might distract our brains with constant simulation. 
The calming sights, sounds and textures of those natural environments engage our brain without requiring effort or filtering. And this then allows our neural inhibitory system to restore. So how can we use attention restoration in our daily lives? Take nature breaks. So step outside for short walks in green spaces during your workday and that will help reset your focus. There's been some amazing studies done on this, which I'll talk about another time. Create green spaces indoors. So surround yourself with indoor plants, which can simulate some of the benefits of natural environments. Incorporate nature views, work near windows, overlooking greenery, or use nature-inspired images, or maybe even screensavers in your workspace. Mindful nature engagement. Spend intentional time in nature, such as hiking, gardening, or simply sitting in a park, as this can provide restorative benefits. You may be asking yourself, why does all this matter? In today's fast-paced, screen-heavy world, mental fatigue is increasingly common. The attention restoration theory and its connection to the neural inhibitory system highlights the importance of integrating nature into our lives. Whether it's that short walk outside, a lush green workspace, nature helps reset our cognitive systems, making it easier to focus, function, and ultimately thrive. I hope you found this unpacking of the attention restoration theory insightful. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow me on LinkedIn for more content on how nature can enhance our spaces and our well-being. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.